In this video, I wanted to show you how you can personalize your landing pages at scale using variables with Vout. I'm currently logged into my account and I am on the landing pages feature. I see all my existing pages, which I can choose from, or I can go ahead and click to create a new page. This is gonna load the builder that we have. And of course I have project name, let's just call it testing title as well. This is all stuff you can control, including if you'd like to change the title of the page. Okay, so you can do test one, two, three, or anything that you like testing. Right. Domain settings can be changed, so you can white label this instead of using our default URLs. And of course, you can plug in any tracking codes that you like with the UTMs uh, for your Google Analytics. Once you're done, you simply start designing. Now, I'll just do something very simple. I'll drop in a header right here. So drag it from uh, the left to the right. And I'll add a form right below it. So let's choose a form. And I'll do something centered here. I like the centered form. And honestly, th this format it itself is really sufficient. Uh, it drives a lot of conversion. So why don't we go ahead and uh, personalize this? Now, VBot already offer personalization feature if you're using email marketing here and you're driving click-throughs from the email to the landing page. Um, however, if you want to do it on the fly, let's say you're sending out flyers uh, to your customers and you have personalized URLs on these flyers. If you're talking to somebody on social and you want to plug in in the conversation link to the landing page and you'd like to pre-fill that information directly from the conversation, uh, or if you're simply running ad campaigns and based on the ad, you want to change different words and, and contacts on the page, you can use that awesome feature that we have. Now, the format is simple. I simply open the bracket, add a hashtag. Okay, very important in the format to be, um, to be as I'm describing. And I type in anything. So I'm just going to do hard work and close the hashtag, close the tag. Now, mind you, this could be anything. It doesn't have to be um, any uh, hard work, but you can uh, go ahead and choose whatever you like. Now, another thing you can do is inside here, uh, go ahead and add a open bracket and do something like first name. I'm just gonna do capital uh, name and close that as well. Very important to follow that format. Again, whatever is here doesn't matter. And um, why not personalize the button? Now the button is a little tricky. You can do it on the left, uh, or not not in line. It's it's an option under the button label. Uh, so I I'll put in something like, let's just do also first name, okay? Just like we uh, did on the top. Hashtag first name, and then I'll add uh, submit now. very basic and an update uh, to launch the page all right now the next step is to visit and see how this looks like so i'll click on the eye and share to see the preview now you see here i'm not seeing any variables everything looks nice and um and clean if i'd like to start injecting anything in here all i need to do on the top so you see me in the URL here, I'll do question mark and then I'll plug in the variables. So the first one was hard work, capital letters, and then I'll put um, Richard. And then I have another variable. So I simply put an end inside and put in the other variable. Uh, variable. So first, um, first name, I think it was equal Richie. Let's see how that looks like. Now immediately my name was added here uh, and you can see my other name here as well as the button. How cool is that? So personalizing this on the fly is super easy. A um, few things that happen, you don't have to create multiple pages if you'd like to change content based on uh, different, different text or copy. You can use UTM creatively. So inside the page, I can literally also do UTMs here. So I, it could be UTM campaign 
and that will inherit from your browser if you're using UTMs for, for uh, Google, Google tagging and stuff like that. Um, you can get very creative with this. And not only that, you can have fallbacks because we have an awesome libraries. For instance, I can do, if the first name doesn't exist, I can do friend. Maybe the format um, is not right here, but, and I can even have uh, divided by two, just in case it was a full name because that's another option there uh, sometimes. So you can do the library or apply the library that we have to make things proper, to make things uh, have a fallback in case it doesn't exist or things like this. So you can get very creative, very simple to use, make your pages stand out with this on the fly personalization using variables on Vbout.